So here's a little update I'm doing on my springs. Um, this is the one I just got in the other day. Those are four and a half ton from uh, High Hater Hydraulics out there in Nevada. Those are the three and a quarters from CCEs. And <clears throat> these are the four and a half ton springs raw material. So my right one is the one that, that's collapsed. They both got same turn coils, but these <clears throat> in between the spring is more collapsed than this other one. This one's more open. So that way y'all can see. Measured them earlier, but that way y'all can see. So in between each spring, got about three quarters between each one. This is a collapsed one, and on this one, I got about an inch. Let me get it right. There you go, about an inch in between each coil. So, that's why I'm changing them out, because, I mean, they're raw material. I, mean, I don't know who made them. They could be China brands or whatnot, but that's the reason why I'm changing them out. <clears throat> these are the... Let me move these out of the way. This is a four and a half full stack. Um, these ones I'm gonna be running in my car. And between each, it's an inch and a half gap between each coil. So, you know they're gonna be making a difference. And I've heard good news about these springs. I, I know some guys, they're in the hopping game. That's all they use is from high hitter, you know, hydraulic springs. You know, everybody's different. Everybody tries out different springs to see what they like. And I heard good news about it. So I'm gonna use them, I'm gonna try them and see how they work in my car. And roll this one out of the way. This is full stack. So I am gonna shorten this one up. I'll be probably cutting about a coil, coil and a half off of this one later on today. This is a three and a quarter ton springs off CCEs. And I believe this one has about an inch in between each coil. Yeah, just about, not three quarters. Yeah, three quarters, my bad. So, <clears throat> I've used these on my car in the beginning when I first, you know, started building my car or so to say, uh, building it into a street hopper. I had these springs, they were working good, but you know, I got a V8, I'm running a V8 on front, so pretty sure it makes a difference. These, these will probably work real good on the V6, but on the V8, I mean, I'm going with these four and a half tons. So man, y'all stick around. I mean, <clears throat> y'all got any questions or if y'all know you know some other springs that they've been working for you for so long let me know i don't mind trying them out but like i said full stack you can see a big difference on the four and a half ton springs <clears throat>